<laughs> good evening actually it's already good night i hope you can hear me good evening it's even good night um i'm arena gati Fohle. i'm the admin of the touring group mm, i want to make a video i just thought you know when i get information i just should do the live streams and not wait and then not do it at all <laughs> So I will hope I might do them a little smaller and shorter and more often. Um, so this one is about forgiveness. But what is forgiveness when people say, hey, you know what, do a healing session and then you should do for forgiving exercise. They also call it Hoponopono in Hawaiian language. Um, hi, Amadeus. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Summer. So, <laughs> thank you. Um, actually, I want to go deeper than just forgiving someone. Let's say in this lifetime, okay, someone has done, done something to you. This person said something or did something intentionally or in an unintentionally hurting you, okay? And you just got so hurt. And then what you do is either you can cry and be really sad about it or you get really angry and you start cursing the person. Of course, you don't mean it like intentionally in a bad way, but still it's cursing. So what happens, it's, it's all about vibration, right? So this thing is so amazing because it has so many thin, amazing thin lines and layers which has such an impact on someone's life. Hi, Manuela. Hi, Ken. Hi, Amandos. Or Amadeus. Um, do you know the song Amadeus, Amadeus? Rock me, Amadeus. <laughs> From Austria. Um, he was actually quite bright when he... Um, into the light. Into uh, There's some amazing songs he made. You should just listen to it. Um... So now in this lifetime, someone comes, does something to you, but they did it because they got hurt and they lashed out to you and then they hurt you, maybe intentionally, but maybe also unintentionally. And then you get hurt and you start cursing or whatever, getting angry or mad or sad. Now, there it's incredible because... When you dig deeper, you will see between you and this person, there have been some past lives. Hi, the need. Um, and then you will see, because when you do forgiveness, it's not just about forgiving. It's also about releasing the karma. And karma can be good because you have done good deeds in the past, but it can be negative, but it's not negative, it's just a reverse, it's just coming back to you till you learn your lesson. So karma is never ever a punishment, there is no punishment. It's just what you send out in the world, it comes back to you till your soul learns the lesson, okay? So there's nothing about punishment. It's like in, in science, to a action comes a reaction. It's science, it's energy. Energy doesn't get lost. It's just transforming and it comes back and it turns around and it creates different energies. Like when I eat, it gets into my tummy. I have life force energy. I can do be things. I'm active or I might be tired. Then I go to the toilet. I poop. It comes out in different forms, okay? So that's how it is. So the same way it's when you do something live, it can come back to you in a good way and it can come back and hit you because it's something you have to learn or resolve. So when there is something like you got hurt and there are some issues, there are many layers you need to look at. Very important. What have you done in previous lives which did create this situation? What has this other person done in this lifetime to you and also that you have to, that you can or should or can or have to forgive? You, what can you forgive yourself for what you have done in past lives? And what have you done to that person in past lives which you need to forgive yourself? And those three layers are very important, okay? 
So after you have done finding out what happened, how many lives and what, how many thoughts, negative thoughts and negative emotions. So when you have figured that out, there are people who can help you with that, I can help you with that. Then you do start forgiveness. You start forgiving yourself what you have done in many lifetimes, creating this vibration. You start forgiving yourself for the things you have done to this person. And you forgive the person in this lifetime what this person did to you. Okay? So, and then when you do the forgiveness, it's actually amazing. You do the emotions, the thoughts, but more than that, you say, and that's like many, many layers now. Okay, it's very interesting. It's really powerful. It really works. Hi, see you, here, here, and hi, Ricky. Um, so what I do is I have it in German and I have it in English and I always put it on the poster. I write it with my own writing because it's so powerful when you write with your own hands and in colors because from a thought it comes to action okay and then it goes to the left and the right brain because you do it in color and you write it so what i do is i say i forgive myself what i have done in this life and other lifetimes other lifetimes and other dimensions knowingly or unknowingly i forgive others um, what they have done to me knowingly or unknowingly i forgive myself what i have done to myself or to others knowingly or unknowingly. Um, so I forgive myself, I forgive others and I, I ask others to forgive me what I have done knowingly or unknowingly. I ask um, that other person to forgive others and others to forgive them. And then I ask God to forgive them and to for forgi forgive me and others. So there's so many different layers and it's always knowingly and, and unknowingly. So if you do that, it's very powerful. And that actually creates a lot of healing because it's about bringing it to your awareness, bringing it to your conscious mind. And that's the layers of forgiveness. And sometimes when you're so angry that you feel you cannot forgive, you know, forgiveness is not about justifying what they did. It's about giving it back to the universe so the universe and law of nature can handle it, that they can look after it and take care of it so that you don't have the rage and, and the feeling of revenge or hate in you that you feel you have to do something to get back at this person. You're just letting it go. You say, you know what? I trust the universe. Universe will handle it. That's forgiveness. And forgiveness is also making peace with it to understand from an action comes a reaction. And then there's this Ho'oponopono, which is this Hawaiian um, forgiveness exercise, which actually means I love you because when I love you, I love myself. Please forgive me when I forgive you. You're a mirror, you have a reflection of me. I forgive myself. Um, it's like, I love you, please forgive me. I have forgotten something, something, and then um, something, something. You can Google it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have forgotten it. But the whole point is that um, you can even say, even if I'm not able to forgive right now, on a level, on an area where I'm able to forgive, let me forgive that person. And that's very powerful. So in the end of the day, you can just try it out and see how you feel. Just try it. Um, hi, Skalitos. Hi, Ricky. Hi, J. King. Anyways, um, I do a Starseed activation course in July if you feel like you want to join. It's about activating your psychic abilities. It's about remembering who you are. It's about learning a lot about yourself, releasing and healing. And I have uh, the playlist and my YouTube channel. It's for free. You can get a lot of information. If you have any other questions, I gladly will do some videos about it. But forgiveness is very powerful. I really, 
I was always saying, you know, it's not that powerful. But once I have understood what forgiveness actually really means without just doing and reading it, it's just giving it back to the universe so that the universe can look, you know, look about it, look on it so that we don't have to do it. It's actually amazing.